Fallen angels were kicked out of heaven, and what they taught mankind may shock you. This revelation also helps us to see the full picture as to why God flooded the earth in the days of Noah. It wasn't to be mean and vengeful, but to wipe out the fallen angel Nephilim and their offspring, the giants who corrupted mankind and taught them forbidden knowledge we still use today. Before the great flood of Noah that flooded the entire earth, Genesis 6-4 tells us that there were giants in the earth in those days and after that, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men and they bare children to them. The same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. These are the fallen angels who rebelled against God and were kicked out of heaven, leaving their first estate as mentioned in the book of Jude. When we look to the book of Enoch, an extra biblical text not found in the standard Bible, we can learn the destruction and devastation the giants were creating on the earth at that time. In chapters 7 and 8 of Enoch, the fallen angels who fell and came to earth took women as wives just like mentioned in Genesis 6-4. They teach humans magic medicines, incantations, the cutting of roots, and about plants. The origin of folk medicine is therefore ascribed to these angelic beings. The children of the angels are giants standing 300 cubits, that'd be 450 feet tall. These giants eat so much food that humans cannot feed them anymore. The giants proceed to eat humans as well as all other kinds of animals. In addition to teaching humans to interpret a wide range of signs, they teach humans medicinal magic. The angel Azazel teaches humans metalworking, including making of ornaments and weapon making. Azazel also teaches humans how to make eyeshadow and other physical ornamentation. Other angels teach humans how to track the stars, astrology and divination, and the signs of the moon. Enoch chapter 69 verse 18 tells us of the angel Gadriel, who taught people how to perform abortions and how to strike people so they die. The stroke of the embryo in the womb to diminish it. The stroke of the spirit by the bite of the serpent. And the stroke which is given in the midday, the offspring of the serpent, the name of which is Tebet. These angels are responsible for teaching humans all sorts of sinful practices. Humanity fell through Adam and Eve's sin in the Garden of Eden, but once fallen angels came to the earth and taught humans even more evil, their sins completely overtook them. Genesis 6-4 tells us this fact. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. The reason for God flooding the earth was to cleanse the earth of the fallen angels, their offspring the giants, and the evil forbidden knowledge that they taught mankind that had overtaken the earth. We understand this further because God says why he chose Noah and his family to survive the flood. He says because Noah was pure in his generations, meaning he had no one in his bloodline who corrupted themselves with mating with fallen angels. Genesis 6-9 this is the genealogy of Noah. Noah was a just man, perfect in his generations. Noah walked with God. Some Bible teachers may say this verse says Noah was sinless, and that's why God chose him. But as soon as Noah and his family made it to dry ground, Noah sinned with drunkenness and lewdness. And of course, as we know, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That's why Jesus came to be the sacrifice to wipe our sins away because all human beings have sinned and fallen short. Again, God mentioning in Genesis 6-9 the genealogy of Noah and perfect in his generations has nothing to do with sin and everything to do with his bloodline.